Okay, now I'm going to show you the next uh, next parts. Still some similar uh, uh, picking things, but it gets a little bit more complicated on the strumming patterns or the picking patterns. Um, some similar root chords though. So you're going to be starting in the uh, F F minor. So after that um, that one singing part, we go starting on the picking again, and this time you're going to start open on the third, and we'll go so open and hammer on the fifth and then hit hit this note these this is that F minor position so it goes and then you then you go back to this position but now you're going to be doing kind of three finger picking or at least I do it one one two so thumber Do it again when you slide it up. And then you can slide up to the eighth fret on the bottom one. So it goes like this. So we'll do that again. So to slide, slide it up there actually if you can. So that gets it gets to that part and then it goes down to this chord and you're going. So you're doing one and three, two, it goes. And then you're doing this chord which is basically a B flat minor with, with this uh, ring finger down here. And then, then you go back to the F. So I'll do that again. So here you're doing this weird funky chord. And then the B minor version. So I guess this. And then you do this. Okay, then you repeat it. time and then you do the, the song sing with me sing for the year so it does that same thing then you go down and then same thing eight notes and then the real chorus dream on dream on so that's that B, B flat C sharp to D sharp. Dream on, dream on, dream on, dream until you dream come. Then you do F minor. And they're they're doing some really cool soloing parts, but I'm gonna have you do F minor for four beats, which is pretty cool. Sounds pretty cool. And then you do your that part. So it's gonna be F minor. Dreams come true. bad fingering so actually I'll do it on the ringer one so you go this is the eighth fret right here it goes and then next string up on second string and then on the third string now you're gonna go down to the fifth fret so it goes eight fifths and then you go to fill it out and then you go back to the chord dream on so it goes Dream until your dreams come true. Two, two, three, four. Dream on, dream on, dream on, dream until your dream come. And then this is that weird kind of cool bass sound. I can't mimic it on the oop, but you can still simplify it a little bit. So there you goes like that so it goes you're gonna basically you're gonna be in the I'm sorry and you, um, so it's gonna be the course C C sharp D sharp and then this part is basically on the fifth fret and the third fret and then you're opening and then 
that that's that um, uh, the F minor position so but you're actually hammering a little bit and then it goes the, so that's the first part and then third string then back to the F minor position like that so and then it's, you're not actually playing every note you're kind of pulling off and doing the hammer so starting on the fifth and being, being ready for the ring finger on the fifth index there on the third so you're gonna go and then you go so you can do your ring finger here on the sixth fret of the second string and then it goes third and then you do the chorus dream on dream on dream on dream on then we do the cool chord change or key change where you go to F dream on dream on dream on oh. that one so that that chord again is F G sharp, and then C sharp, and then you do eight of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and sing with me, sing for the years. So it goes into that part, and there's a slight variation. Maybe tomorrow, good Lord will take you away. So basically with that, maybe tomorrow you're going back to, to D sharp. Maybe tomorrow, D sharp, good Lord will take you up. Then you go back to F minor. Sing with me, sing for the year. Sing for the laughter, sing for the tear. Sing with me just for today. And then you go to D minor. Maybe tomorrow, with C sharp, good Lord will take you in eight times. And then your nice C strum. So anyway, that is it. A um, little bit tricky, but you can probably uh, um, tr at least try to follow along. I'm also doing a different different one where I actually play along with the music so you can kind of see how each of those jives in with the actual song. And then if you get the hang of it, then you play along with the song. And it doesn't matter if it sounds good or not. In your mind, if you're sounding like uh, the Aerosmith on guitar and the Steve Tyler singing, then you got it going on. So enjoy that. Cheers.